there! My name is Miss Sarah, for those of you that don't know me, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to make one of my favorite breakfasts, the Green Smoothie Surprise. Aside from the fact that it is delicious and full of so many good nutrients, um, my favorite thing about this smoothie is how much of a time saver it is. I can throw everything together the night before and then when I wake up in the morning and my brain is still trying to remember my own name, all I have to do is hit blend and then I have breakfast ready for me in 30 seconds. It is magical. So let's get to it! I was getting a little hot in my jacket. Number one is the banana. I always like to put a banana in my smoothies because they make them nice and creamy. And they are full of potassium, which is a really important mineral that helps your nervous system, the neurons in your nervous system, communicate with each other. I also love to add frozen berries. You can get any mix that you can find or that's on sale. My favorite mix has these berries in it, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries. But really, any combination is good. I just don't recommend mixes that have pomegranate seeds in them because they are seeds and the seeds are pretty big and then your smoothie kind of feels like you're drinking sand. Um, but if you like that, go for it. So these berries are awesome because they're fruity and they are also full of vitamin C and vitamin K. Vitamin C is really good for your immune system and helps you fight off illness. And vitamin K is really important for your blood. It helps you stop bleeding if you ever cut or scrape yourself. You could get fresh berries and put those in your smoothie too. I personally like frozen because they last a really long time and they're cold so they make your smoothie nice and chilled like ice would, but they don't water it down because they're fruit. If we were to call this good and hit blend right now, our smoothie would probably be as thick as cement. So I always like to add a little bit of milk to my smoothies. You could use whatever kind of milk that you want. Uh, if I drink or eat too much dairy, my stomach gets a little funky. So I usually like to use unsweetened almond milk. I think it's especially fun if you can find some that has a little bit of vanilla flavoring in it. And this is a really good source of vitamins D and E. Vitamin D is really important for keeping your bones nice and healthy. And then vitamin E is really good for all your cells. It's something called an antioxidant, and it helps protect all the cells in your body from damage, which is pretty rare. So I know I told you that I don't like to eat too much dairy, but I always love to put just a little bit of plain yogurt in my smoothies. It makes them creamy, and I love creamy things. It has some good fat in it that really fills up my hungry morning stomach. And yogurt also has lots of healthy bacteria. Now, I know when we think about bacteria, we usually think about them infecting us or making us sick, but our body is actually full of a lot of good, healthy bacteria that help us digest our food and get important nutrients from it. And this yogurt has some of those healthy bacteria. They're kind of like backup for the bacteria that live in our body, which is pretty fun. So finally, I always add just a couple scoops of peanut butter powder because it tastes delicious. And it's also full of some good protein that provides building blocks for my cells to do all the work that they have to do every day. So you might be thinking, Miss Sarah, why did you call this a green smoothie surprise? There's one more really important ingredient. Spinach. And now you might be thinking, hold on, who wants salad in their breakfast smoothie? And that's a totally fair concern. But y'all, the blender is magic. If you blend this up long enough, you cannot even tell it's there. And you still get all of the incredible nutrients that are in spinach. You've got vitamins K and C, like we already talked about, and vitamin B9, which is really good for your DNA, and vitamin A, which is really helpful for your eyes. And it's full of fiber, and that fiber is really helpful for your intestines. It helps you poop. Spinach 
is a rock star. If it doesn't taste like spinach, what do you think it tastes like? I might have put a little too much in. Delicious. All right, I screwed on my blender blade. But now, all we have to do is blend, and then we have breakfast. If you don't really love this combination of flavors, there are so many substitutions that you can make. If you're allergic to bananas, like my good friend Miss Mia, or just don't like the way that they taste, you could always treat that out for half an avocado. It would still make your smoothie nice and creamy and you get all the good fats that are in the avocado. If you're allergic to peanuts or you just don't like peanuts, you could swap the peanut butter powder for some almond butter or some sun butter. If you're not super hot on the peanut butter and jelly flavor combination, toss the berries. Throw in some cocoa powder or some cinnamon instead. With a base of banana or avocado, some liquid and some yogurt if you like it, the flavor combinations that you could explore are pretty much limitless. The breakfast world is your oyster or your smoothie. You know, even with all that spinach, the smoothie didn't really turn out that green.